Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Carmen. If it's your first time here, welcome. I'm out on the balcony today, but we're not doing some repotting. I'm actually sharing with you some clearance plants that I just got at Lowe's and one plant that I got at Home Depot. And actually that plant is on my 2020 wish list. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. But already, it's not even quite 2020, in a couple of days it will be, I already found a wish list plant. So stay tuned and I'll show you all of the plants. Okay, so I got some money for Christmas, which is always nice, and I decided um, to use it on some plants. Um, first place I thought of was Lowe's because of their clearance section. I wanted to check out what they had left in clearance. And I first checked outside for their cacti and succulents. And let me show you what I got. I found this uh, aloe burbifolia. It's already potted in a terracotta pot. I've cleaned it up a little bit already. Um, it had some dead leaves on it, so I've taken that off. You see the price here was $7.98, and I got it for $3. Already potted up in this terracotta pot. It just needed some uh, leaf cleaning and some water. That was it. Um, I used to have an aloe burra folia, but I lost it out here on the patio because of the rain. It just soaked up too much rain. So it'll be nice to replace this, um, that aloe burra folia with this one. And um, I've learned now to really watch my plants out here in the rain, uh, especially the last few weeks. We've been getting rain every week, so I tend to put up my umbrella out here to protect my plants from too much rain or pull them inside. So that's aloe burbifolia, my first clearance plant. The next one is um, Echeveria, let me put my glasses on, <laughs> Echeveria Dusty Rose, which is a hybrid. And you can see here it has the uh, petals on it look like, or the leaves on it look like it's wax almost. It's got a really nice color. Um, you know, some of the leaves were a little bit beat up, but this was normally uh, $4.98, I believe, and I got it for a dollar. So, for a dollar, I'm willing to take a chance on it. It's got a really nice coloration to it. It's a mauve purple and the green, and really nice shape to the, uh, to the leaves. And I probably won't repot this into its own pot. I'll probably put it in with some other succulents in another arrangement that I have just to maybe fill it in. But for a dollar, I'm definitely willing to take a chance on this Echeveria Dusty Rose. Now, the last succulent, clearance succulent, is this Crassilla watch chain. You can see it's almost like hair. You just want to run your fingers through it. It was in really good shape. And I think that it may have been in another pot, an outside cash pot or something like that. Because when I found it, it was just like this. It didn't have new information on it or anything. So when I went to the cashier, <clears throat> excuse me, when I went to the cashier, I told him, well, you know, this doesn't have any information on it, but it looks like a dollar to me. And he's like, yeah, that's right. So I got this one for a dollar. And again, it just needed water. That was it. It's in perfectly healthy condition. And I know that they had these there for, I believe, five dollars. So I got this one for a dollar also, the Crassilla watch chain, which is really nice. And again, I'll probably put this in with an, an existing succulent arrangement I already have, unless I find a pot that's like those head pots, and I put that in there and make it look like hair. I think I may look for something like that. So we'll see. Okay. So it's Crassilla watch chain. So after looking over the succulents and cacti, I headed inside to see what their clearance plants inside look like. And you know, they had the usual suspects there as far as the dying ones of the bromeliads, the orchids, and the ferns and stuff. But on the floor I found some <laughs> I found some Chinese evergreen, some aglaonemas, and this one here, I'll show you a picture of what it looked like when I got it home because it had some dead leaves that I've already taken off and watered it. 
but this one here was the best one. It's got a leaf right here that's unfolding. And the other leaves, maybe down here a little bit, some yellowing, a little bit damage there. But those are all lower leaves, so I'm not worried about that at all. But this is a, an Aglaonemia Silver Bay. Um, I do have a couple of Aglaonemas on my 2020 wish list. The Silver Bay wasn't one of them, but I'm never one to turn down a beautiful Aglaonema, especially when it used to be $24.98 and I got it for $12. This is an 8 inch pot that I got it for $12. Look at this. I don't think I can I'm back up a little bit here. Isn't that beautiful? And it's in such good shape. I love it. So this one will go actually where the Christmas tree is right now. I'm like anxious now to take the Christmas tree down so I can place this one in its place. So I'm not going to repot it now. I'm going to wait a couple of weeks at least. If not, maybe wait until the spring to repot it. If it seems to be doing well, I'll wait until the springtime. So that was pretty much all I found at um, Lowe's. And then I hit it over next door to the Home Depot to see what they had. They don't normally have a um, clearance section, but they always have pretty good uh, plants there. So I wanted to see if they have anything different. If by some miracle, you know, the Home Depot by me had been to have some Oyas or something. But I did find one that is on my 2020 wish list. And that was this guy. This is a variegated peace lily or domino peace lily. Look at that. Isn't that variegation beautiful? I got him for $7.98, which is um, pretty much your standard price there for six inch pots. And they had quite a few of them actually. Uh, but this one was the one I found that had the best variegation on it. Um, and he was in really, really good shape. There were no dead leaves on him. Maybe a cup at the bottom I've already taken off. But look at even this leaf here coming in. They're coming in with really nice variegation. And these are peace lilies, you know, are such easy plants for low light situations. Although this is going to go in front of my patio window here. I'm going to make room for uh, her. And um, I just love it. I'm so happy that already I'm able to check off a 2020 wish list plant. And it's not even 2020 yet. So I think I'm going to have really good luck with my wish list uh, next year. But this variegated peace lily is just beautiful. Look at that. I really do wish that... Um, Home Depot would put in a a clearance section because I think that you know they would really just outdo Lowe's if they had a clearance section. But I was happy with the price considering I you know I had not seen this in um, any other local big box stores um, other than nurseries and it, even then it was at a higher price. So I was happy with the price, happy with the plant, and so sold. Okay. So it's just a small uh, haul for you today, but I'm really happy with the clearance plants that I got, the wish list plant that I got. Um, it's a great way to end the year, so I'm really, um, you know, looking forward to 2020 and see what that brings to me as far as uh, cacti and succulents and house plants. I am still going to be making for you the um, 2020 wish list cacti and succulent edition, so stay tuned for that. I'll be making that soon. Um, and I've got some really nice, nice selections for you to look at. So there you have it, friends. If you have any of these plants and you have some tips and tricks for me of how to take care of them, the peace lily or the aglaonema, please do let me know. Um, I know that they're basically pretty easy to care for plants, but if you have any little tips or tricks for me, I'd appreciate that. And if you haven't given this video a like yet, please do that. That helps me out so much. And um, please do consider subscribing too because we're going to have some great adventures in 2020. Lots of new plants, uh, lots of go going on out here on the balcony. I am going to be doing a balcony tour for you also. I've almost got it all ready for you. And uh, so that'll be a lot of fun too. 
Hope you have wonderful holidays and a happy new year, friends. Be blessed. Bye-bye.